Hello everybody and welcome to this next video in the series on a new nation. In this video, we're going to be focusing on the first 10 amendments to the Constitution known as the Bill of Rights. And this first one is amendment number one. A summary of amendment number one is as follows. It deals with the freedom of religion, speech, and the press, rights of assembly, and petition. So people could practice religion freely. They could say what they want. The media could report as they saw fit. People could assemble together peacefully. And here's the text of the full First Amendment. That Congress shall make no law respecting an establishment of religion or prohibiting the free exercise thereof, or abridging the freedom of speech, or of the press, or the right of the people peacefully to assemble, and to petition the government for a redress of grievances. Amendment number two basically says, you have the right to bear arms. The full text of amendment number two is as follows. A well-regulated militia, being necessary to the security of a free state, the right of the people to keep and bear arms shall not be infringed. So this one says that people have the right to have weapons, guns, to protect them as they see fit. Amendment number three is the housing of soldiers, meaning you do not have to house any soldiers without your consent. No soldier shall in time of peace be quartered in any house without the consent of the owner, nor in time of war, but in a manner to be prescribed by law. So you do not have to house any soldiers without your expressive consent. And number number four deals with search and arrest warrants. The right of the people to be secure in their persons, houses, papers, and effects against unreasonable searches and seizures shall not be violated, and no warrants shall be issued but upon probable cause, supported by oath or affirmation, and particularly describing the place to be searched and the persons or things to be seized. So in other words, in order for your house to be entered, a warrant has to be presented as stating why they are there and signed by a judge. Amendment number five deals with rights in criminal cases. No person shall be held to answer for a capital or otherwise infamous crime unless on a presentment or indictment of a grand jury, except in cases arising in the land or naval forces, or in the militia, when in actual service in time of war or public danger. Nor shall any person be subject for the same offense to be twice put in jeopardy of life or limb. Nor shall be compelled in any criminal case to be a witness against himself, nor be deprived of life, liberty, or property without due process of law. Nor shall private property be taken for public use without just compensation. So these are some of the rights laid out in dealing with criminal cases, including you do not have to incriminate yourself on the witness stand. Amendment number six deals with rights to a fair trial. In all criminal prosecutions, the accused shall enjoy the right to a speedy and public trial by an impartial jury of the state and district wherein the crime shall have been committed, which district shall have been previously ascertained by law, and to be informed of the nature and cause of the accusation, to be confronted with the witnesses against him, to have compulsory process for obtaining witnesses to his favor, and to have the assistance of counsel for his defense. So these are, these are some of the basic rights that you should have in a trial, where it should be speedy, it should be quick, and it should be public. You should be able to have an attorney to defend you. Amendment number seven deals with rights in civil cases, dealing with money. In suits at common law, where the value in controversy shall exceed $20, the right of trial by jury shall be reserved, and no fact tried by a jury shall be otherwise re-examined in any court of the United States 
than accordingly to the rules of the common law. So this is dealing with uh, civil cases which involve money. Then number eight, bails, fines, and punishments are handled here. Excessive bail shall not be required, nor excessive fines imposed, nor cruel and unusual punishments inflicted. So whenever a punishment is handed down, it should not be extreme. Amendment number nine, deals with rights retained by the people. The enumeration in the Constitution of certain rights shall not be construed to deny or disparage others retained by the people. So even though it may not be stated, the people still retain those rights. Amendment number 10, powers retained by the states and the people is what's handled here. The power is not delegated to the United States by the Constitution, nor prohibited by it to, it to the states, are reserved to the states, respectively, or to the people. So, if it's not said that the federal government will do, the states will do it, and the individual people will do it. And that concludes this episode on the Bill of Rights. Thank you for watching.